Hello there guys, my name is Ghost Shadogs the one but but for the part news we haven't uploaded in like a week. It's been unbelievable. Um but um camcord is broken, filming on the phone. <laughs> if you've watched the uh, Forever Rovers channel, the second channel for the Donny Rovers content, you'll know. You'll know. <laughs> um but I am on phone until temporary notice. It's on the temporary, I'm saving up for a new camcorder. Hopefully we'll get a new camcorder. I want to order one online so I can get it as quick as possible. But obviously this coronavirus stuff, I'm not sure how online works in stuff like this with shipping, etc. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. I'll try and get one as quickly as I can. Um, you know, the theme park season's still closed until uh, further notice, until this coronavirus calms down a bit. Um, or, or calms down a lot. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens with all this. It could, it could cal calm down in, as soon as possible. So, um, yeah, it's just a waiting game, really. It's just a waiting game. But we're back. I wanted to give it a week just to calm down. Camcorder broke. I was absolutely furious. Uh, but just calm down. Uh, take it day by day and just film on this for now. So that's how we're going to do it, unfortunately. Uh, but guys, please keep like, commenting, subscribing, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please get closer and closer to 1,500 subs. Make sure you give the questions for the Q&A session a couple of weeks after we finish that um, subscriber milestone, a couple of weeks after we hit that milestone. The question Q and A video will be out, uh, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to see the YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media, and get your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question for the 1,000 found subscriber Q and A. Now today's theme park news and update comes from Slagharden in the Netherlands. Now the last video we did on this was the uh, looking back at some old plans that there could have been for like an iSpeed speed clone. Um, from Mirablandia in Italy, that could have been the, like a clone version of that at Slakaran or something like that. So that was a nice video to do. But of course, we're back here because some news came out via a forum. Now, before we get started, shout outs go to Thorax Changeling. Uh, now, if you want a shout out in the next video, please comment down below. And yeah, basically, yeah, on this forum with Slakaran, um, you know, there was. There was like a and something from the newsletter. There was no screenshots or anything like that, so I can't show you. But there was something on the newsletter uh, about of a survey via the newsletter uh, about a potential type of coaster that could be added at the park with three potential themes and storylines. Now, this is an interesting one to look at. So I'm going to show you guys exactly. Um, we'll tell you guys what storylines we've been talked about, and also show you the type of coaster on your screen now. As you can see on your screen, it is a suspended family coaster. Now, the storylines connected is either a bandits in a western town, uh, well, two of the storylines are connected to bandits in a western town, and one is built around a sawmill with a waterfall. Now, um, there was no mention about specifics in terms of type of suspended family coaster. Uh, Vacoma, I guess, is obviously the, um, the obvious choice. Um, because obviously Vacoma is the, uh, Vico uh, is, is, is one of the main suspended family coaster types, I guess. Um, so we'll, so we'll, we'll sort of see with that. I mean, um, like I said, Vacoma is the type of coaster that you go for, but of course you've got to look even more specific than that, really, um, as to what type of, uh, family coaster you go for, because, um... You still got to think, even if it could be a Vacoma suspended family coaster, which are built in, you know, they're based in Netherlands, which is, you know, the connection. There are certain types of models. There's the 294 meter model, which is basically Jimmy Neutron's Atomic Flyer at Movie Park Germany, or Steel Lasso at Frontier City. Uh, there's the 342 meter model, the seven models of that. Uh, the most famous ones are Kitty Hawk at Carowind, Silver Streak at Canada's Wonderland, Flying Ace Aerial Chase at Kings Island, Flying School at Legoland, Florida. That's uh, one of the more famous ones. 
There's a 395 meter model, again, there's seven coasters in that model. Flight the Pterosaur at Paltons Park and Cavaston at Groner Lund are just a couple of the UK and European examples. And of course, 453 meters, there's nine of that model by Vacoma. Uh, there's a new one under construction set to open on the 1st of May, apparently, at Happy Valley uh, over in Asia. There's the Dragon Roller Coaster at Energylandia. There's Dragon Flyer at Dollywood. Uh, so there is, you know, there's a lot of different options. So I think either one of those options could be good uh, for uh, either of the Vekoma Suspender family options could be good for Slag Harem. Now, of course, it isn't just Vekoma. There is also Fast and Furious at Warner Brothers World Abu Dhabi and Drage Conan at the Joe Summerland. Now, what do they have in common? Well, it's already on your screen. It is an Intamin suspended family coaster. Now, an Intamin suspended family coaster is more recent over the couple of years. Cause that's why there's only a couple of coasters. Uh, but there's nothing to discriminate it from being an Intamin because Intamin, I've heard from reviews of Dragacon and at Dejur Summerland, they do do good suspender family coasters. Now, there are two family inverts from Bologra and Mabiard as well, both operating at Happy Valley, but again, that doesn't stop um, Slycharen investing in Europe's first Bologra and Mabiard family invert coaster. The Gold Rush Coaster, the Gersler Triple Launch Shuttle Coaster, a, a few years ago, that brought in a lot of profit to Slycar, and that was a good, successful coaster. Uh, and I do believe that that is a potential option they could go with. Uh, so it's very interesting to discuss all these options. I mean, it's very interesting to talk about all these options, to discuss my thoughts on them. If I was to choose between Vekoma, Intamin, or B&M, I think B&M is the least likely due to budget reasons. I know even though they're family invert coasters, they're still very, very expensive. Uh, so very interesting there. Then you're left with Vekoma or Intamin. If I had to choose between one of the two, the most likely in my opinion, even though Intamin is very rare with their Spender family coasters, I think the most likely option here will be a Vekoma. Maybe along the lines of Flight of the Pterosaurs kind of model, but that doesn't stop Psycharum from coming in with a custom model. However, it wasn't too specific on the type of coaster, so it might not even be a Spender family coaster. It could be a suspended thrill coaster, like what they're doing with Trips Drill. It could be a suspended looping coaster, but modernized, so new trains, new type of track to match the suspended thrill coaster concept and operate it like an SLC. So like a next generation SLC, maybe. Maybe it's a Vacoma Flyer. Maybe it's a different type of manufacturer. Maybe it's still an invert or a suspended. It could literally be anything. But I think one of the main things to take ar around that suspender family coaster option, if it is going to be that option, uh, one of the big things to take in there is it's a family thrill coaster. That could be the type of coaster, don't mind whether it's suspended or not, I think a family thrill coaster is next on the line for Slycar, and whatever type of coaster it is, it'll be suspend it might not even be suspended, but I think it will be a family thrill coaster, whatever option they decide to go for. So, this is like the foundations of what could be a good coaster project in Europe. So, let's keep tabs on it and make sure we keep our eyes out, which we normally do. Um, so, yeah. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this YouTube video. This is the first time in a week we've uploaded onto Coast Channel YouTube channel. It's been massive. Uh, but do not do not think, guys, for one second that we are done over the summer holidays. We are nowhere near done. Even if we're in lockdown, we are not done. We're going to be uploading loads of videos on Coast Channel YouTube channel over the summer. Reviews, close but not forgotten episodes, um, just loads of different content. If the situation improves and we get Halloween up and running, I know Scare Kingdom Screen Park has been launching their Halloween ticket sales very, very soon. Um, so, oh, by the time you're watching this, they might have already gone up for sale. So make sure you get your hands on them tickets. Uh, I know York Maze Hallow Screen would love to open up at Halloween like usual. Uh, so I'll be interested to see what they do with their Halloween event. I'm pretty sure the situation will hopefully improve before Halloween, before we get even close to Halloween. And you know what? If the parks do, don't open for the summer, and if we end up doing Halloween, I will gladly go to Alton Towers during Scarefest. I will gladly do that for my annual trip. 
because the scare mazes there are apparently fantastic. We know that uh, recently they've announced some stuff about this. Um, I believe they're called the Scare Awards, uh, something like that. Um, so I know there's some Scare Awards uh, nominations been handed out them, uh, recently. So I know Alton Towers. I think they're up for best set design for the attic, and I know that Creek Freak Massacre is up for an award as well. And I know Thorpe Park and Chessington are up for some stuff as well. So. You know, this is very interesting indeed. We'll keep tabs on that. Might do a Halloween update on that as well. Uh, but this has been an interesting turn of events this year. We never, we, we thought we'd do as much Halloween, uh, theme park news updates as we did uh, last year. But we sort of, we didn't expect to do as little. So it's very interesting. Um, yeah, this it's an interesting time to be alive at the minute. Um, it's a very interesting time in the country and in the world. So um, obviously, like I said, during lockdown, We'll keep you guys updated uh, with the content, etc. Make sure you go subscribe to the second channel, Forever Overs. I'll link that in the description down below. Shout out once again to Thorax Changeling. He wants his channel linked in the description down below. I'll link in the description down below. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news from Update. My name is Coast Chow. Please like, comment, subscribe. Keep living the coaster life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.